Hello, I'm Matt Beauty Shaper and in this video I'll be talking about the bioavailability of potassium. But first I'd like to ask that you like and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. To begin with, potassium is a biomineral and is necessary for maintaining various bodily functions, including the heart, nerve transmission, and muscle contractions. In this video, I'll try to simplify the concept of potassium bioavailability, which is the extent to which the body can absorb and use potassium from different sources. Understanding this is very important for improving potassium intake and promoting overall health. You can find a lot of potassium in different foods, especially fruits, vegetables, and beans. And common examples of foods such as bananas, oranges, potatoes, spinach, while potassium supplements are available, the absorption of potassium from natural sources is generally considered more effective. Potassium gets into your body mostly in the small intestine, and how much gets absorbed depends on things like what other nutrients are around, how your digestive system is doing, and what kind of potassium you're eating. In supplements, they often use potassium salts like potassium chloride or potassium citrate, but these can be absorbed at different rates. Certain nutrients can affect the absorption rate of potassium adversely, like an excess amount of sodium because it can reduce potassium absorption as these two minerals often compete for absorption in the intestines. Also, eating a lot of processed food or drinking a lot of sodas, which often have a bunch of phosphorus, can make your body get rid of potassium more when you go to the bathroom, affecting its overall availability in the body. These connections highlight how crucial it is to eat a balanced diet and pay attention to the kinds of and amounts of nutrients that you take in so your body can absorb potassium in the best way. Studies show that our bodies can take in potassium better from foods like fruits and vegetables rather than from supplements. And it underscores the need to eat a well-balanced diet to get the best amount of potassium. Several factors affect the bioavailability of potassium, including the form in which it's consumed, such as food versus supplements, the presence of other nutrients, and individual health conditions. People with certain gastrointestinal disorders could face challenges in absorbing potassium, influencing its bioavailability. Food preparation methods can also have an impact on potassium bioavailability. For example, boiling water can lead to some loss of potassium in the cooking water, while steaming or microwaving may better preserve potassium content. Getting enough potassium is linked to keeping your blood pressure in a healthy range and lowering the chances of heart problems. Not having enough potassium can cause issues like weak muscles, feeling tired, and a higher risk of high blood pressure. Lastly, understanding the absorption rate of potassium is essential for making informed dietary choices. A diverse diet rich in fruits and vegetables provides a reliable source of potassium with considerations for cooking methods and individuals with health conditions. This knowledge empowers individuals to optimize their potassium intake for overall well-being. Eating a mix of different foods, especially fruits and vegetables, gives you a good amount of potassium. It's important to think about how you cook your food and consider your health conditions. Knowing this helps you make choices that are good for your overall well-being when it comes to getting enough potassium. I hope you enjoyed my video and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so I know that you enjoyed the information that I shared with you. And don't forget to take each step in life with kindness in your heart and strength, creating a positive understanding atmosphere in all your interactions. And that will make the world a better place for you and all those around you. Thank you so much. Have a great day.